Hello, guys. The future perfect is a very important tense because what you are going to do, what you are going to complete in future, that's what we are going to express by using this tense. For example, you see the first sentence here. I will have completed my MA in 2024. That means I started doing my MA in 2022. And I will have completed. That is 2024. So you can see a completed action later. Not now, but after some time. Some time. This is very important because we are human beings. We are always thinking about what what we are going to achieve in future. So this tense is very important in that way. So now look at the second one. My father will have bought everything by tomorrow. So maybe some marriage ceremony or some ceremony is going on. And they are buying things. He could not complete it today. So he will have bought tomorrow. A completed action later. Third one, they will have played the match by next week. They will have played the match. The playing of the match will be completed next week. Understand? So, something completed later. Fourth one, we will have done our homework by Monday next. So, teacher has given about a week's time. We will have completed this by next Monday, Monday next. Something completed in future. And fifth one, our friends will have moved out next year this day. Our friends will have moved next year. The action will be completed next year, later. Sixth one, he won't have finished the job and gone home. That is negative. He won't have finished. Won't have is will not have. He won't have finished at a later time. That is meaning. Seventh, our teacher will have been here for 10 years by 2030. That means he, our teacher, he came here, will be how, that is, he says, have been here for the 10 years, 2030. That means he came here 2020. Listen, and he will complete 10 years, 2030. And you have eight, several people who have died of epidemics in the next, in the next future. So will have died later. Eighth, ninth, she will have done her course in medicine next year. Next year means completed next year. Forward looking and waiting for an achievement to be done later in life. And the last one, he will have read all the books in the library by then. By then means a day, day you can say, say by 2040 or 2030. So the point to remember about this tense is that this is used to show or express the fact that a certain action will be completed later, not now. That's important. Not now, but later. The classic example I have already given, I will have completed my MA in 2024. That means I joined in 2022. Two more years later. I think it's clear. So once again, look at this explanation. Now 2022. Future time is 2024. Started now will be completed in future. That's the point. A completed action later, not now. This not now is very important. And so that's the focus. But after something. Action will be completed at a future time. We can see all the, in all these sentences, same thing. The, my MA will be completed 2024. The books will be read by then. Friends will move out next year. 
Do you understand that? I think that, that point is very clear to you. Future perfect is very, very important because we all are aspiring to achieve or complete something in the future. To express that point of completing something in future, we use the future perfect tense. See you again with, see you again with another topic till then. Bye.